Star Citizen is a hard game to pin down for me. On one hand, it's an absolute mess, and it's a mess that even its most ardent fans are willing to admit gives them pause for any number of issues its development currently has and will continue to face. This game has all the major hallmarks of feature creep on top of its highly unusual and controversial development strategy. The overall growth concerning its massively hyped and ever-pending release and the actual measurable results that Cloud Imperium Games has managed to produce over the past 11 years it's been worked on doesn't often cause people to sing the game's praises. Uh, side note, 11 years of developing anything, but especially a video game, is like a huge amount of time to wait as a player. And I think it leaves CIG open to a lot more controversy than maybe say Rockstar or uh, any other developer who works on a massive open world sort of game. Now, if you compare it to Rockstar, you know, they're making what is essentially a small state that you can explore on a horse. CIG is doing more than that and they're using different technology, but at the same time, a lot of the failings of other companies are way more apparent at CIG just because of the amount of time that we've been able to look at and experience what they've created, how fast they've created it, and how slowly they've been moving forward on stuff. So, I mean, it's, it's a lot. Sorry, but we'll go back to the video now. On the other hand, I keep finding myself drawn to play this game. Not all the time, and certainly not when anything else remotely appealing releases. But in between bouts of playing other games, I'll fire up Star Citizen and just explore this vast, beautiful, harsh, and yes, uneven universe that CIG has been building for donors to play in while they await any form of significant release. And lately, I've found myself wondering why that is. Why do I continue to play and support, though much less from a monetary standpoint now, this broken, pre-alpha of a game that may or may not ever come out. Well, for one, I think that the promise of Star Citizen is something that can't be denied, and CIG would certainly never do that because it would essentially ruin the way that they make their money. Promises in video games are tough to keep, but even more so when it's basically an open secret that your game isn't really a game because it's not really finished being made in most ways. Chris Roberts, creator of Star Citizen and the founder of CIG, has essentially tagged in for Peter Molyneux as being one of the most fascinating studio heads in the video game industry, someone who overpromises, underdelivers, yet still remains as a bastion of hope for his true believers. I'm not one of those believers, but I am someone who always wants to see studios succeed in fulfilling their vision, no matter how vast and unreachable it might realistically be. For me, Star Citizen represents a modern day conundrum. How do you create an entire universe to explore while maintaining some semblance of professionalism, cohesion, and accountability in a video game? Well, CIG's answer has basically been to take an extremely slow approach to development of its universe and to release a steady stream of minute updates to Star Citizen that almost always cause other issues in different parts of the game. Now, to be fair, CIG is also creating a huge amount of technology from the ground up for Star Citizen. Planetary generation and scaling, object container streaming, atmospheric simulations, and of course the now infamous server meshing and iCache, which should help create a more persistent universe for players. Now all of those technologies have more or less been created or tweaked at a base level to work within a game that's infinitely larger than almost anything that's come before it. Scale is extremely important for Star Citizen to work right, and CIG has been seemingly endlessly working on a massive backlog of new and old systems alike to try and get that scale just right. That's one of the big reasons I always come back to Star Citizen for every update. I like to see the tweaks that they've made to the ship handling, to the new and improved menu systems, and the interactability of the worlds. And of course, to explore more corners of the ever-growing Stanton system. There's also something CIG does so incredibly well that it's almost mind-blowing how good it is even at this point in development. They create places that are genuinely fun to explore. There are so many biomes, so many stations and cities to fly to, and an endless stream of missions and players to interact with. I've had some of my favorite times in Star Citizen just finding friends who have way cooler ships than I'll ever be able to afford and asking them, to 
go on an adventure with them, to test out their ships, to go on a mission with a crew of people that they know that I didn't know prior to meeting them. When it works, and again, that's a big ask for Star Citizen right now, but when it does work, it's a phenomenal experience. It makes it so clear to me that the game that CIG is building has the potential to be something truly set apart from anything else in the industry in a big way. The ideas that CIG started with are great ideas. Now, clearly the execution isn't ideal, and CDPR has shown with Cyberpunk 2077 that releasing a game before it's ready can have disastrous consequences. But to CIG's point, they haven't ever shied away from that. They have been crystal clear, Star Citizen isn't ready, but it will be. The promise of a game that fulfills so much is what makes it so tantalizing to me, even though I'm continuously disappointed by it. Now, maybe I'm just a masochist or I'm slowly going insane, both of which could be true, but I can't help loading up that launcher, hearing the gorgeous music that starts playing and getting a twinge in my mind that says, maybe this time it'll be ready. Or at least until the next 30K happens. But what do you guys think? Star Citizen is obviously a game that is mired in controversy, so let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about it. Hey everyone, this is Kyle from Subpixel. If you like this video and you're still around, give us a like, give us a subscribe, give us a kiss.